Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 26, 2023. Hi. <laughs> if you want to check out the offering, you want to get a session with me, see what lives I'm going to be doing, make sure you look at the description box. If you're on a TV, get on a computer. If you're on a TV, get on a phone. It's not impossible. You can do it. I know you can. Uh, if you want to really keep up with, uh, sometimes I do special offers and they're very spontaneous. Because I want to reward people who are watching my community tab. So if you're following it, you'll know when maybe a little deal comes up or I'm going to announce a live event, all of that. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. Morganite relationship healing. People are recovering. We are separating from dark people. We're separating. Now this feels like because the darkness isn't going to go away easily. It's going to throw a fit. But still, we have the power to recover from things like that. Now, this isn't playing victim. This isn't feeling disempowered or using that victimhood uh, to get attention. If you're using your victimhood to get attention, you're on the dark side of things. Be self-aware. I will encourage everyone, when you watch a weekly... Watch it when it comes out and then go back and watch it again a few days later, a week later, and see how it's all playing out. Because it's very easy when you don't have the context for something to just dismiss it. And then if you go back, you might be like, that's why that happened. Or this is how it started playing out. Right? You get, get some more information around that. Oh, Crystal Animals. It's been coming up quite a bit too. Last week, because I'm batch filming right now. The energy was too interesting, so I wanted to <laughs> keep going. This seems to be like a connection. And you know, a couple of times that this has come out, I feel like the animals will tell us. They're sort of like the Earth's messengers. They're going to let us know. And especially around things like earthquakes. I was joking in one of the videos from last week. Uh, when animals run, I run with them. And then I was afraid that maybe the animals saw me as the danger and I'm chasing them and then I'm a terrible person. But um, I figure if they're running, they're running from something. But their high intelligence and their behavior can give us some clues and maybe help keep us safe. Okay. This came up last week too. It's Sunstone Empowerment. Huh? Let's get more of the story. To train abundance. We're doing things for ourselves. And we might be realizing... Now, I realized that the place that I live in, since I've moved here, life has not been good. <laughs> I mean, it was, it's been crazy neighbors. It's been a pandemic. It's, it's been all of these things. And it's really held up, I, I think, um, well, not feeling safe, not feeling grounded and so like when we talk about relationship healing it could be relationship healing your relationship to a situation a person a place events that are going on out in the world but what's interesting about this week there's this continuation of um developing our sense of power around that and that's not the sense of power is not okay i'm gonna rebel and it's also not okay you know what i'm gonna do it better than you i'm gonna beat you at your own game I am a stellium Scorpio. I would be lying to you if I said, I'm so advanced, I'm never uh, ever wanting to give someone a taste of their own medicine, especially abusive people. Like, not that I would be abusive back, but, um, you know, when, when they see, like, they, they try to control something and then they lose control of it, be like, ha, see? Karma, right? Like, listen, hey, yo, I didn't say I was, like, a perfect human over here. Never have. <laughs> but part of this relationship healing... And kind of getting, um, I heard settled. Getting getting back to feeling settled. Feeling all right. Feeling that empowerment and feeling the abundance coming through. You might have had plenty of doors shut in your face. You might have been diminished. You might have had a lot of stuff firing at you and you didn't know why. I think something's going to make sense here in the coming week. And you're going to see how you have been guided away from something that wasn't useful for you. Watermelon, have fun with your inner child. The number is three. This is freeing. 
this is okay i see it for what it is i don't need to play this game anymore it's not mine to play and i cannot stress this enough if you ever say go off and be someone else's problem you're operating from the shadow aspect for example if you're with somebody who's incredibly abusive and you say, I'm out of it now, go be someone else's problem. Are you serious? That's gonna come back to you. That's gonna come back on you. You're wishing your bad experience on someone else. And if you think there's nothing wrong with that, I'll see you next week, I suppose. Let me know how well that goes for you, okay? So we're gonna leave it there for the general part and we're gonna move on to the groups. the group one let's see what else is going on for you please make sure that you watch the first part of this video that's the other part of your message check the description box for all the offerings and the community tab on my youtube channel i have a lot of updates there and sometimes surprise little special offerings so <laughs> be sure you're checking that out all right crow white sexuality when this card comes out it can have several different meanings unfortunately in this society um sexuality has been abused okay uh, whether it's this message of just give your energy away from a spiritual aspect that's not great okay <laughs> you gotta be careful you can give it away but you know make sure it's in the right scenario you see what I'm saying um, I mean I could do a whole long speech on how this has been perceived over the years but societally speaking there's a lot of stuff around this topic that can cheapen it uh, and I'm not saying that from a judgmental standpoint. I'm talking from an energy standpoint. It can cheapen it and it can get people disempowered by giving away their creative life force. So what ends up happening, you can't, um, oh gosh, sorry to do this, but like, God, is this fair to do this? I don't know. Think of like, sorry, ahead of time, gold diggers, okay? <laughs> like maybe they're in there because they want the money, but they're not really in the romantic emotional side of it um they end up getting not very well they, they kind of lose their power after a while um because they're using up their life force so they're not really manifesting anything for themselves anymore it's coming through the grace of some the grace is that the right way to put it? i don't know it's coming from the exchange maybe of material things for that see I feel like I got myself in trouble okay well listen I'm sorry um and that's fine it's, it's a choice and that's an experience but going back to the societal messaging around that when we deplete others of that or shame them again I'm not trying to work from a place of shame I'm trying to open this up so we can give this full consideration from all angles without fear of being shut down because someone someone's opinion doesn't match ours okay but when this gets used in an improper way um or a way that is not beneficial it's not a mutual exchange it's not um when it's seen as your duty those are all things that can't eventually make you disempowered so that you are afraid to get out of a relationship you are afraid to move on you're afraid to do all those things because who are you outside of that situation I'm just giving a Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> dang give <laughs> there's too many i can't take all those there's just a few examples of what this can indicate 
when it pops up. Okay, so let's get more of the story here for you. Rotocrosite acceptance. That's a love crystal. Hold on. Tanzanite clarity. <laughs> no, okay. Michelle, tell me, no, okay, no, just a minute. <laughs> I don't want to, hold on, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Emerald compassion. We love when Emerald comes up after the messaging I was just getting, a little redeeming. Okay, listen, hey, yo, this is what's going on. This is what we got. So if you're watching this, it's going to be different for everybody. There might be some old memories or past relationships where you realize what was really going on there how you were depleted. This might be recovery. There's some acceptance here and having, like I said, recover so that you can almost like find love again, which almost the part where I was like, eh, it kind of uh, indicates maybe a breakup. But it's a breakup because you're getting clarity on how that dynamic really is. And then you're having some compassion here, restoring your heart energy what that feels like a little bit is, you know, I never felt comfortable with this or that aspect. I didn't know that I could say no. I, you know, I was so afraid that I was going to lose my relationship if I didn't do X, Y, and Z. It has a little bit of an uneasy feeling, but you'll get through it. Here's your card. It's flowing right into my hands. Violet, create a balanced life. The numbers 45 reduces to nine. So a lot of you who chose this group are a lot of realizations about things that are not good for you, whether it is around sexuality or relationships, or if it's just someone, you know, because sexuality is the sacral chakra. It could be a creative project as well. I get the feeling like someone out there might be getting treated like a baby machine. I mean it. Like I, I was engaged to someone years and years ago who didn't care about me he just wanted me to have his children okay and didn't care about my family history around that how that could be dangerous for me he didn't care and he even flat out said you know if, if it were a situation where I had to choose you or the baby I mean obviously I would choose the baby which I yes that's what I would want but I hadn't told him that <laughs> he just he just had that viewpoint of me. But anyway, the violet is the violet flame meditation. It's, it's clearing away things that you can be done with now. So if you're not happy in your current situation, you do get to move on from that. But it's through this energetic shift. Okay. I know it was a little weird message, but we're going to leave it there for you guys and move on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is coming up for you. If you didn't watch the original part of this, oh, I do keep saying original. The first part of <laughs> this video, that's the other part of your message. So make sure you go and watch that. Check the description box for offerings. If you want a session with me, all that good stuff. Also, make sure you are watching the community tab because I, and that's on my YouTube channel because I post little specials, spontaneous specials. It's like, okay, for the next two hours, you get this, this, and this. Make sure you're watching. Okay, because if you are, you'll know. I guess that's it. <laughs> All right, stiff night conflict. So we have that. This definitely feels for you guys um, being pulled in too many different directions. And it feels, we do have this energy that's going on where the darkness is start trying to get back into control because it's losing its control. So this could be that you're moving on. You're trying to do something for yourself. You're trying to do something healthy for yourself and people around you for whatever reason, don't like it. Let's see. Crystal animals. This keeps coming up. <laughs> this keeps coming up. So watch what the animals are doing. In this case, it feels like animals' nature can be very calming. It's a very grounding card. And it, it has a lot to do with wisdom. Ancient wisdom as well. Okay. Using that as a way to <laughs> emotionally heal. Yep. Awakening crystal. So this is, I, I wanted to batch film because once I did last week's, I'm like, no, this is a big energy. We got to keep going until I feel like, okay, let's, let's let it be there. But this awakening crystal emotional healing, I think this is an overlay from last week's energy where things are coming to light. Things are coming into your awareness and you're having to contend with it. Okay. We have black tourmaline protection. This absorbs negativity. I'm telling you, you're trying to change, you're trying to get healthy. Um, 
I'm going to say right now, anybody who is working with dark energy and you're trying to mimic what a good person looks like, boy, that's going to backfire on you. Like you don't even know how bad that's going to backfire on you. But if you're somebody who has been in these dynamics and you're trying to heal, there, there's a little bit of watch out. And also riding coattails. Like if you have somebody who just doesn't want to do anything for themselves, they just want to kind of piggyback off of whatever you've done, be aware of that as well. So there's a lot of changes here. Um, I don't know. It feels like a little struggle to get out of the situation. Black, find the richness from the dark of night. The number is 28. Reduces to 10. 10 itself in angelic messaging is saying, no, really, you're done. Okay, you don't have to keep going through this. But then it reduces to 1. It's getting back to 1. It's getting back to you. For you guys, this is self-evaluation. Whenever the black card comes out and now we do have black tourmaline we have this we have the conflict if you're like this is the worst reading i ever saw in my life i'm clicking off this mess listen <laughs> i think you want to know this okay you want a heads up so first and foremost when this card just for me as a reader using this deck something has always happened out in public whenever this pops up or usually something happens when this pops up it doesn't mean that something catastrophic necessarily is going to happen but i do want you to be careful in um public places uh listen to your intuition if you feel like you need to get out of a space do it i don't care how much you paid for those concert tickets now if you're really going to a concert no you don't have to actually <laughs> cancel your trip but if you you know feel like I don't know. I don't. I get a sick feeling about this. Again, I don't feel like anything horrible would happen to anybody who's watching this, but you might be near it. Um, close call is coming up. So why why that? Is it to scare you? No. Let's stop doing that. It's a form of victimhood. Like your fear monger. It's a form of victimhood. It's controlling. It's manipulative. You're not a victim. Okay. This is designated to give you a heads up about the energy that you, if you chose this group, are probably going to be working with. Just be aware. Don't go, oh, you're scared. Be aware. All right? Okay. Again, sorry, this is terrible. But anyway, <laughs> you're going to be all right. There's emotional healing that comes out of this. But it is, the black card can sometimes be seen as a dark night of the soul kind of moment. But if you're in that, it doesn't just pop up this week. You've been in it, okay? So you already are aware of it. You under, you understand some of the shifts and changes that have been occurring around that. It does bring it to a resolution, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. Again, if you want a session with me, sure, awesome. If you feel like you need a different kind of reading, listen to your instincts, okay? Yes, if you feel like you want a psychic reading, an astrological reading. I mean, I use my psychic abilities to read, but I do angelic messaging, Okay, so it's more designed to help you um, have the strength and the courage and the wisdom to come through things that are occurring for you. And yes, if it's appropriate for you to know, they give you a heads up on that. But they also, the angels present messages in a way that you can experience them. So it's not very mental. It's not, um, here, this is how we, you know, we know the ego likes to see it this way, so let's play it out this way. No. They want to connect through your whole being, especially through your heart. So just be clear on that. But yeah, the reason why I'm saying all that, um, if you want to check with someone, don't go, to, don't go to a tarot reader and just say, oh my God, this angel medium scared me. Something bad going to happen. Knock it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get with the program. Okay, that's not it. Okay, and guess what's going to happen, especially if you go to a, a tarot reader who doesn't have any morals. Oh my gosh, that person was terrible for scaring you. It's it's giving you a heads up. Anyway, we're done. Okay, I love you guys. <laughs> Report back. Let me know how you're doing, okay? We're going to move on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. Make sure you watch the beginning part of this message. That's the other part of your message. All the offerings, sessions, all that good stuff, all that information is in the description box. And also keep an eye on the community tab on my YouTube channel. That's where I post a lot of little surprise offerings that are like, for the next couple of hours it's just a fun little thing to do um when people do catch it in time they get really excited 
And I, I don't know, it just brings a big smile on my face when I go back to do the readings and I see somebody in there going, hey, I hope I got in for the extra 15 minutes or whatever. I mean, I do love that. So <laughs> the more excited everybody else gets, it's good for me too. So there is that. Feel free to go back and watch any of the weeklies back over. So watch, uh, or any of the messages, watch them when they come out. Watch them a few days later or a week later. See how those uh, lessons were coming out. Pre-night trust. This is self-trust. This is self-trust. Oops, sorry. Bumped my microphone. <laughs> um, it feels like a lot of you are going to be pulled in some different directions where you're being told like, hey, no, you don't know what you're doing. Gaslighting. People are gaslighting you. You're learning to trust yourself again. Yes, you'll make mistakes, but that's okay. And some people are so exhausted from having to overcome things, obviously, or to have to go back and redo something. I got you. I understand. It's not great. But <laughs> we also don't need other people questioning our every move. As you write, expanded awareness. This crystal is so beautiful. This is, it's about, um, I work with it when I, you know, want to speak, communicate from a very highly intuitive wisdom place, right? It's the best way I can say it. Uh, and, and this is very helpful for telling yourself the truth, the expanded awareness. So maybe your truth is, I, I have to be afraid to make mistakes, right? I have to, uh, not be afraid to make mistakes and not be afraid to try new things because other people are scared and putting their fears on me. I mean, listen, if you have questionable judgment and you're like, let me go out and, you know, do this crazy dangerous thing. People are like, that's probably a bad idea. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. It, it probably is a bad idea. Why are you jumping out of an airplane? Why are you doing that? Explain it to me. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Send me your skydiving photos if you have them. I mean, I'll live vicariously through you while I'm safe on the ground. Diopside, Mother Earth. So again, this connection. This is very divine feminine energy as well. The divine feminine healing, heart healing. You're freeing yourself. Yeah, from the shadow. Look at this. Go back and watch last week's. I told you, like I'm wearing the same... Well, these are comfy clothes, but they're the same clothes from last week. Did I wear the same clothes for a whole week? No, I'm batch filming y'all. Okay. So make sure you go back and look at that. But black obsidian, the shadow, it is dealing with uh, your own shadow aspect, which we all have. But when that, when all of our shadow aspects get together and they go out into the collective, uh, that's, it's a mess. It's a mess. You know what I mean? But this is being grounding. It's absorbing the negativity. It's helping you get back to clearer thinking. And, and better understanding, right? A deeper understanding of the self. All right, y'all. Let's get you a color card. All right. Brilliance, discover your sparkle. The number is 26. Reduces to eight. This one wanted to come out too. Emerald, calm your body, excuse me, your mind, body, and soul. The number is 30. Okay, I feel like if you chose this group, you're at the end of a struggle. You might still have to stand there if you want to see it as like face the beast a little bit, but you're so much stronger. It's not rattling you. You're back, baby. Okay, <laughs> like things may have shifted in a really beautiful way for you where you are back in touch with your emotions. Or if you never got a chance to be in touch with your emotions. Everyone's been raised differently or different generations, different um, eras and all that stuff. So <laughs> Gen Xers, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know, the, the all the fear stuff that we had to grow up with, you hurt yourself, whatever, hit you with the hose, you're fine, shut up about it. Um, now you're getting back in touch, right? You're getting back in touch with your emotions, allowing yourself to feel things. And there's a little bit of a release around it, okay? And conversely, some of you who have been raised, maybe you were raised by a Gen Xer who was full on overcompensating, be like, your feelings are so valid that everything's a feeling, everything needs to be expressed, everything needs to be a thing. Uh, you're realizing 
okay, maybe maybe I'm more just like like I've been trained that I'm supposed to be so in touch with my emotions. Not everything needs attention. Or maybe I shouldn't judge so much or whatever the case may be. Okay? Interesting times. Definitely. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.